everyone, Tim Schofield here from CubicKing77.com. Finally, you can get official Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Nexus 5. This is not a developer preview, this is the official Lollipop. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can flash the factory image, which will uh, reset your device, so make sure you back up all your uh, apps, contacts, pictures, messages, everything, um, just because it will wipe everything. So this will be flashing the factory image. There is an OTA rolling out. I'll do a video on showing you how to manually update with that OTA if you're on 4.4.4 at the moment. Um, to flash a factory image, your bootloader needs to be unlocked, which I will uh, talk about in just a second when we get to the command. So let's go ahead and flash this factory image. This will put you back to complete stock. Um, stock Android 5.0 Lollipop. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is install the Android SDK on your computer. So make sure you do that. I have a tutorial video. I'll link to it in the description. It's pretty easy. So make sure you install that. Also, you're going to need to download the factory image and I will link to that in the description as well. Um, make sure you download the correct image for your device. This would be the Nexus 5. There's only one variant so you don't have to worry about that. So make sure you download that file as well. So Android SDK file downloaded and let's go ahead and uh, go to our computer. Also before we go to our computer let's go ahead and power off our device because we're going to need to get into the bootloader fast boot mode. So my bootloader is already unlocked actually but I'll show you the commands you need to type in to unlock your bootloader if for whatever reason you want to unlock your bootloader and flash this factory image as opposed to waiting for the OTA or whatever. So to uh, get into fast boot press and hold volume up and down and the power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them. Keep it held down and we are now in the bootloader. Once you've done that, you can actually plug your device into the computer. Um, if you do not have the drivers installed, if for whatever reason it says waiting for device or gets stuck on that, I'll link to where you can download the PC drivers in the description as well. So just power it on, I mean plug it in, and then you'll see fast boot, mo fast boot mode is in red right up there. You'll also see that it says hammerhead, so make sure you download the correct file. So now let's go ahead and go to our computer. All right, so once we're at our computer, as you can see, I have Hammerhead right there. I have a bunch downloaded. I'll do tutorials for Nexus 10, Nexus 7, so don't worry about that. Anyways, so you'll see Hammerhead right here, uh, factory image. What I want you to go ahead and do is double click on it. You'll see I have an app called 7-Zip. That's what I used to open it on up. So you'll see, click on it, and inside and it looks like another zip file. Double click on that, and then it's going to go ahead and open the, the contents of it. You'll see a folder right here. So what I want you to do is extract that folder, throw it somewhere. I, I mean, for now, I guess you could just throw it on the desktop, at least for the sake of this video. But we're going to need to move it to the platform tools folder, which we set up with our Android SDK. So double click on that, and inside you'll see a bunch of files right here. So now what I want you to do is go ahead and highlight all those files. You can copy them or cut them. I'm going to cut them because I don't need need them anymore. Now go ahead and navigate to that Android SDK Windows folder. Double click on that and, in, and double click on the Platform Tools folder as well. So once you're in there, go ahead and just paste all of those files into that folder. So now this is our image file. We are ready to go. Um, that being said, if you need to unlock your bootloader, um, in the platform tools folder, hold shift on your keyboard, right click, hit open command window here, then go ahead and just type fastboot space OEM space unlock and that will unlock your bootloader in case you're wondering on how to do that. Press enter and then go to your phone and you need to press volume up and like say yes on your phone. So that's how you unlock your bootloader. It's quite easy um, and then if you need to relock it, if you want to relock your bootloader after this video is done just type in fastboot OEM lock and then your bootloader is going to be locked. So it needs to be unlocked if you want to follow this video. So um, now quite simple um, with your phone in fastboot mode plugged into your computer and all of these files pasted into the platform tools folder. All you need to do is double click on flashall.bat. It's going to open up a script and what that script is going to do is actually flat, manually, uh, automatically flash all of the files needed so you don't have to manually do it. Um, you'll see my device rebooted. It's going to, probably going to do that a few times. Um, when it says flashing system image, that's going to take the longest. So now we're not done. We, for some reason the flash all script doesn't work. Google must have messed it up or something. Maybe there's a change that needs to be done. It's not that big of a deal. But now what you need to do is go ahead and double click on where it says image hyphen hammerhead dot zip and double click on that zip file and then go ahead and select I guess all the files in there, cut it and then go ahead and go back to that platform tools folder and paste all of those files into the platform tools folder. So it's going to move all of them there. Um, it might take a bit of time. The system image is pretty large. 
All right, so you'll see they all flat, they all copied into this folder, all right here. Um, you'll see it says date one, one, 2009. That's not true. These are the latest, don't worry, as long as they were from that file you downloaded. So with our device in fast boot mode, we need to go ahead and in the command prompt, hold shift on your keyboard, right click and hit open command window here, and it's gonna open up this command prompt. We need to go ahead and manually type in some of these commands just because that flash all script didn't work. So as you can see right here, I do have my device in fast boot mode. So let's go ahead and type in first one fast boot devices and you'll see a bunch of letters and numbers letting us know that um, our computer does recognize our device. Now next, what I want you to type in is fast boot space flash space bootloader and then space boot oops boot loader hyphen I will type all these commands in the description of the video if you want to see them bootloader hyphen hammer head hyphen uh, hhz 12 d dot img again that's just the name of the file that's in your platform tools folder if you're wondering about that um, again this is going to wipe all your data keep that in mind and then you can press enter and now type fast boot reboot hyphen boot loader and hit enter and so it's going to reboot you into the bootloader once it comes back up into the bootloader type in fast boot flash radio um, radio hyphen hammerhead hyphen m8974 a hyphen 2.0.50 2.21.img. Again, I'm going to post everything in the description if you need to see it. Um, not a big deal. It's not that difficult. And then press enter. It's going to flash the radio on our device now. Okay, once that is done, I need you to type fast boot space reboot hyphen bootloader again. So reboot your phone back into the bootloader. Same thing, wait for it to come back up. Now once it's up, we can continue on. Now fast boot space flash space system space system dot img again this is going to take a little while i'm going to press enter so just give it some time and i'll be back once it's done flashing the system image all right so it's done as you can see finished it took 98 seconds so it did take a bit of time uh, a couple minutes so now um, nothing should take much longer than that after it does that i want you to reboot back in the bootloader fast boot space reboot hyphen boot loader press enter it's going to reboot it back into the bootloader once it does that, type fastboot space flash space user data space user data dot img. Press enter. Um, it's going to go ahead and flash that user data. Um, it's going to erase it first and then it's going to flash it. Okay, so that finished. It took a little over 30 seconds. So now let's type fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img and press enter. It's going to go ahead and flash this recovery image for us. This one shouldn't take too long. There we go. That one's done. Now fast boot space flash space boot space boot dot img and press enter. That one didn't take long either. And now type fast boot space erase space cache. We're almost done. And press enter. It's going to erase the cache. That didn't take long. Now type fast boot space flash space cache space cache dot img and press enter. And that should be it. Now we are done. Um, now all you have to do is type fast boot reboot. That's it. Fast boot reboot. You'll see on our phone. If you want to relock your bootloader, you can at this time. Just type fast boot space OEM space unlock. If you want to relock it, I have no need to relock my bootloader, so I'm not going to. But yeah, just type fast boot reboot. Press enter. Your Nexus 5 is going to reboot, and we will be good to go. I'm going to let it boot up. First boot up is going to take longer than usual. You'll see um, here is the nice lollipop boot animation right here and that's it so i'll be back once this boots up all right so here we go booted on up as you can see it takes you to the welcome screen all this good stuff i'm going to skip this just because i want to get to the home screen real quick and hit next more move next finish okay so not going to walk you through that i will do a full review of kitkat now um now that that it's actually official but here it is kitkat Android 5.0 running on the Nexus 5. Awesome. So let's go ahead and go into settings real quick. Um, scroll down, go to about phone, Android 5.0, uh, all that good stuff. So there you have it. That's how you do it. Flash factory image only. So let me know. Hopefully this video helped you guys out if you're looking to do that. Um, you see it did wipe all my data. It's brand new, all that good stuff. So 
Um, if you could give this a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, guys, thanks for watching.